Good morning, and welcome to St. John's Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Rick Roberts. Today is All Saints Sunday, so today's sermon will focus on our saints. All Saints Day is a very important day in the life of the church. It is the day that we remember and celebrate the saints God has placed in our lives. A few weeks ago, while on vacation, Kathy and I were blessed to spend some time with a couple of my cousins when we went to West Virginia on vacation. Cousins that I had not seen in years, maybe 10 years. After many loving hugs of welcome, the first thing we started doing was telling stories. Stories about our dearly departed saints, our parents, our grandparents, aunts and uncles, and sadly, my cousin's son, who became a heavenly saint way too early in his life. We spent hours reminiscing, telling stories of how our saints molded our lives. They taught us right from wrong and the consequences of our actions, both good and bad. They encouraged us to learn and to use the skills God gave to us to be the best we could be. They were always there for us, helping us through the many difficult times in life, especially through the many scars that life burdens us with. They instilled in us the importance of caring for others, welcoming and accepting people not like us, taking food to those in need and to be courteous, caring and thoughtful of others. I remember one time especially that my dad, one night while we were coming home from a little league ball game, stopped the car and got out to help a kid being bullied by other kids. As we reminisced, the most important thing our saints taught us was the importance of family. Through many vacations, many well into the night card games, sing-alongs, and Mama Hill telling us kids kitchen work is for the adults, giving my brother, my sister, and my cousins time, more time to play together, to give us more time to nurture our relationships with each other, which are as strong today as they were 50, 60 years ago, which helped us through many difficult, scar-filled times in our lives, especially when we had to say our earthly goodbyes to our beloved saints. During most of the rest of this sermon time, I want to lead us in, in an exercise to think about, remember, and thank God for our dearly departed saints. So, if you want, sit back and relax. If you want to close your eyes for a few moments, do so. And take a deep breath in. And slowly let it out. In and out. Now, focus on your dearly departed saint or saints. Who are they? How did they make a difference in your life? Did they teach you about God? Did they encourage you and help you be who you are today? Who are your saints? Where would you be right now if those saints were not in your life? If they were here, what would you say to them? Well, go ahead and tell them. Yes, they are in heaven, but they are also right here in our hearts right with us, a part of us. Now, take a moment and thank God 
for all God did for you through your saints. If you close your eyes, you may open them now. How do you feel? Peaceful? Maybe have some tears of sadness, tears of joy? Normally, in a kumbaya moment, we would take time to share the love and thankfulness we have for our saints. My challenge for us today is to have those kumbaya moments, but a little bit later. Maybe as you're driving home or going out to lunch, sitting around the dinner table, telling stories, creating new memories to create and nurture new saints today. I believe that is so important, especially in the world we live in today. There is, that is so negative and divisive. We need to nurture loving, saintly relationships with all, for all. And as we say at St. John's, and all means all. Now, let's take a couple of moments to focus on our saints who are right here with us today, like our children, like our parents, the saints who provide wonderful social ministries, the saints that are recipients of our ministries. Being saints to the clerk or the wait staff that wait on us today. What about the saints who tirelessly gave their time, talents, and treasures to rebuild God's church here at St. John's? In our world that is so politically, socially, and religiously incorrect. In our world that is so negative, so narrow-minded, and so me-centered. There needs to be saintly voices that say, no matter what the world says to you or about you for being poor, hungry, and weeping, when the world hates, excludes, and insults you for your faith beliefs, for your lifestyle, or for way too many other divisive and destructive reasons, scarring people sometimes for life. There needs to be saintly voices saying, you are blessed, as Jesus said in today's gospel, as Jesus said and did throughout his life to bring the truth of God's love for all. We hear that voice of blessing every week from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the words, I declare to you the forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We also hear Jesus' voice in the words, this is my body and this is my blood given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. In Holy Communion, Jesus God remembers us, brings us together again with God and with each other. In the waters of our baptisms, we were sealed by the Holy Spirit, marked with the cross of Christ, and God's voice proclaimed, you are my beloved child. You are blessed, you are loved, and you are mine forever, just the way I created you to be. Thank you, God. What I remember the most about being with my cousins a few weeks ago was the importance of being brought together, remembered with my family. Our dearly departed saints were God's hands and voices of love, which nurtured and grew our family to be one, to be one with each other. Again, thank you, God. Through Jesus' baptismal life, death, resurrection, and ascension, God remembered and made the world one with God, giving the world the gift of being in God's family forever. Once again, 
Thank you, God. What if we lived Paul's words in our Ephesians text today of our inheritance in that we are destined to be saints for all? What if we followed Jesus's command to go, to go and make disciples of all people? What if the world knew and lived Jesus's words in his golden rule, do to others as you would have them do to you? Using our time, talents, and treasures, may God equip and empower us to partner with God, to go, to be saints, to help take away all the scars this life has to offer and bring God's saintly love and grace to all. And of course, all means all. Thanks be to God. Amen.